Welcome to Improvisation with Miss Major. Hello, 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 and welcome to Improvisation. I'm Miss Major, and today I am so excited to share with you some fun, spontaneous techniques to get your improvisation stories going. But before we get started, I know some of you may be wondering, what is improvisation? Improv is creating stories together from scratch using action or words that are not planned that happens spontaneously. Now let's try some improv facial warm-ups. So our first facial warm-up is one of my favorites. I like to call it the chewing gum. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna imagine that you have a big wad of chewing gum and you're gonna put it in your mouth. Mm. And you wanna chew around and around your mouth, stretching your lips, mm-hmm, stretching your jaws, chewing about that piece of bubble gum that's so big. Yep, I see you chewing. Mm-hmm. Some of your bubble gum isn't big enough. If it isn't stretching your mouth, make sure you add more gum. Mm-hmm. Mm. So another layer to add on to this particular facial exercise or warm up is to add some elements to it. So now we have our chewing gum, right? And now we want to turn it into some sour chewing gum. Mm. Mm. Think about one of the most sourest things you've ever eaten before. Mm, whether that be a lemon Ooh, or one of my favorite chewing gums, crybabies. <laughs> mm, you want to squeeze those jaws, squinch that nose, tighten those eyes mm, because this gum is so sour. Mm. And now, now that you're chewing that gum, maybe. You want to get surprised because you bit your tongue. <gasps> so now, get to stretch your eyes. Surprise look. And you want to make sure you're stretching that jaw with your surprise look. <gasps> and you want to make sure your eyes are stretched, okay? In this particular exercise, you are warming up your face. Warming up your face is important with improvisation or any type of acting techniques because you want to make sure that the expressions that you are trying to portray is being able to be read from a distance. So in order to do that, you want to make sure that your face is warmed up so everything can be overly dramatic, right? So we have our stretching of our jaw, mm -hmm. we stretched our nose, we stretched our eyes and our mouths. And now we want to get mad. Let's try some mad facial expressions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it feels weird or strange, guess what? You're doing it right. Mm -hmm. So I'm mad. No, I want to be sad. I'm going to try some sad emotions. Mm -hmm. And see when you go through different emotions, the different fun things that your face does just automatically. Your eyebrows go down, your face gets a little sunken. This helps with facial expressions as well as you are dealing with improvisation. So now we want to do happy. <laughs> And look at that, my smile is glowing, my mouth is wide, my eyes are bright, right? So we've tried different facial techniques and warm-ups, and we've also jumped into some emotional warm-ups. So that's our first warm-up. Let's dive into our second improvisational warm-up. Now let's dive into some vocal warm-ups with some tongue twisters. Our next improv warm-up are tongue twisters. Now. 
The importance of tongue twisters is to make sure that we are articulating and enunciating every single word when we are creating our improv stories. So just like we did in our previous warm up, stretching our faces and warming up our features and all of those things are very important to help us with this next warm up, which are our tongue twisters. <laughs> now tongue twisters can get a little tricky. See, I just stretched up myself there. But if we take our time and we over enunciate, meaning making sure each vowel sound is stretched, making sure our mouths are moving as wide as possible, making sure we're not mumbling or being monotone or chewing our words, then tongue twisters can be a success. So let's start on our first tongue twister. How this particular exercise is going to work, I'll say the tongue twister first and then you'll repeat after me. Got it? Here we go. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Great job. Now, pay attention to the importance of stretching your mouths, making sure your tongue hits the top or the roof of your mouth to make sure every letter, letter, every vowel, and every consonant is being heard. So now we're gonna try that again, but this time we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Here we go. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Great job. Now we're gonna speed it up just a little bit faster than that one. Here we go. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Great job. Now for our very last round, we're gonna speed it up as fast as we can. I know it can be a little challenge, but I know you got it. Here we go. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Great job. Now you successfully done your very first tongue twister. Red leather, yellow leather. Now I want to introduce to you my second favorite tongue twister for improvisation warm ups. And this is called a tutor who tooted the toot. <laughs> Got it? A tutor who tooted the toot. <laughs> so same concept, you're gonna hear me say it first and then you're gonna repeat after me. So here we go. A tutor who tooted the toot. Tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor. Is it harder to toot? or to tutor two tutors to toot. Great job. So let's try that again, call a response again, and then we'll try to do it together the next time we do it. So here we go. I'll say it first and you repeat after me. Here we are. A tutor who tooted the toot. Try to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor. Is it harder to toot? Or to tutor two tutors to toot? Great job. Now for our very last round, let's try it all together, saying the very same phrase utilizing our voice, utilizing our over pronunciation, enunciation and articulation, okay? We're gonna try it all together and guess what? We're gonna speed it up a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three. A tutor who tooted the toot tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the toot to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? <laughs> Great job. Next improv warm up is our physical body countdown. All right, boys and girls, our last improv exercise that we're going to do is going to be the physical warm ups. 
Yes, it is very important to warm up your entire body when you get ready to dive into some improv storytelling. So let's see, we've warmed up our facials, right? We've done our features, we've done our emotions, and we've also warmed up our vocals by doing our tongue twisters, red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> now it's time to warm up our entire body, okay? So this particular warm up is called the countdown. And how it works, you're gonna mimic me and I'm gonna do it slow so that we all can catch on and grasp it at the same time. But we're going to start warming up our arms first, okay? Then we're gonna move down to warming up our legs, right? And we're gonna do so by counting down our limbs, right? So in order to make sure our entire body is warmed up, I want you all to get up on your feet Get excited, start moving around, make sure you have enough space around you, okay? Because it can get wild with this particular warm up. So, we're gonna start with our right arm. Watch me first. We're gonna start with the number 10 and we're gonna count all the way down until we get to the number one. So, for an example, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same on your left arm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you gotta wake up your legs, right? Right leg first. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left leg next. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're gonna try it all together. Make sure you have enough space around you, all right? Make sure you're standing up on your feet and make sure you're ready to get your bodies warmed up, all right? So we're gonna count down together. And the first countdown, we're gonna start a little slower. By the time we get to number five, we're gonna speed it up a little bit, all right? Everybody ready? Here we go, starting with our right hand. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 2, 1. 2, 1. 2, 1. 2, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Shake it all out. Great job, great job, great job, great job. Now you have warmed up your entire body. And guess what? You are ready to tackle any improv story that your, your mind can desire. You're ready to create those spontaneous things that you need. Your mind is ready to flow with ideas and creativity and physical movement and all those fun things that entail an improvisation. Great job, everybody. I hope you enjoy. See you later. <laughs> Wow, what a fun and exciting opportunity. Congratulations, you just mastered improvisation warm-ups. See you next time.